Hey everybody, I figured we would talk about the Cristini all-wheel drive 300 e-star bike, but not just the 300, the other bikes they also sell. Have you ever seen one yourself? Have you ever known somebody to buy one of these? Have you been able to test ride one? I really would like to know in the description because I've seen these throughout the years. I've contacted them way back before I even got my 2012 Gas Gas EC300. I did reach out. I chatted with Steve Cristini and, you know, I probably could have got a little bit of discount. But it's such an unknown bike. And even fast forward to this date of 2021, October 1st of 2021, I still have never seen one in the flesh. I have never ridden one. I don't know anyone that has bought one. They're so rare. And that's a plus and that's a minus. It's a plus in that it's unique, right? It stands out if you like to do that sort of thing. And, and some people like doing that. Some of us YouTubers like doing that because it's different. People are going to be like, what is that? And it kind of sells any parts you get for it. Say you get some bark busters or a seat or something. They kind of sell themselves because you're going to start with the conversation of, wow, you got a Christini to, hey, I got these hand guards, I got this C, oh, who makes that? And, you know, kind of leads one thing into another. My gas gas was great with that because the gas gas was so unique at the time before it became a, a KTM and a Husky clone that, you know, that's what I liked about it. I, I, I could promote it to a company like, hey, if you get me the, a set of rims at a discount and I do this, then uh, people will come look at the bike and I'm able to also start talking about your product, right? So it leads to conversation, which is a good thing. Good thing for marketing. However, it's so unique getting parts for it. Is it hard? What is the maintenance like? These are things I have not heard people actually talk about. And being that there's so few with these motorcycles, is the bikes right now, are they being made? Is he able to get the engine form because they came out of the gas gas ec300 this was the gas gas engine from my bike <laughs> that i had and uh i mean the price has gone up it used to not be that much so the price has gone up thirteen thousand dollars well things have gone up since 2012 that's a lot of coin but it's not crazy coin because you know my beta after taxes and some accessories and stuff was like twelve thousand dollars so you know it <laughs> it's really not that much coin in all honesty but it's uh it's up there it's up there and being so unique and unknown in getting parts for i don't know how, how easy it is and you know not knowing how the bike handles how it works is there a lot of maintenance for that whole front wheel drive system? Once again, it's one of those things where to spend $13,000 on unknown, it'd be nice to rent one of these, to see one of these in the flesh. Don't you think? Let me know in the comment section because, I, you know, I'd like to know this. I would like to know, maybe I should get one of these. And it looks like $350 domestic shipping or a $1,000 air freight charge to most international airports. So it sounds like they'll sell them around the world. I don't think Steve Cristini is worried about selling a lot of these bikes, personally. It's so niche. And it, but it would be cool. The warranty for the all-wheel drive system is one year. So you're saying that the all-wheel drive system will work for a year <laughs> at least it should so here's the dimensions here's the weight they're saying 249 pounds or 255 pounds with e-start option so 255 pounds some people are going to be like oh my god that's so heavy because there's weird people that complain about weight there you got people that weigh like close to 300 pounds that get one of these bikes and they're like oh my god it's 250 well if you're really worried about the weight put down the twinkie I'm just saying. <laughs> so fuel capacity is 2.1 gallons. They also have an auxiliary tank available for 1.5 gallons. I'm going to guess if you have the all-wheel drive system on, which I do believe you can still turn it off with a switch, 
that uh, you're probably going to use more fuel just because you're turning more parts and thus using more engine power. It's not DOT approved street legal. They say that. I don't know what the title says. I don't know in Colorado if you can get it plated. We like to connect trails here, so that would also be a, uh, you know, <laughs> a deciding factor on getting a bike if this was your primary bike in a state like Colorado where you can plate a lot of other bikes easily. It's a 2018 Gas Gas 300 liquid cool two stroke. So it looks like he has gone up to the more modern engine modern engine really not much too many changes some changes from 2012 to 2018 but not drastic changes but okay so it uses the latest gas gas engine from the actual gas gas time frame not the ktm time frame because that would be a ktm engine now it wouldn't it's not a gas gas bike it just says gas gas and it's red i don't know why people fall for that but that's a whole nother topic now what they also have is they have a Christini all-wheel drive 450E. Is it loading? Here we go. Christini all-wheel drive 450E. Ah, this one is $12,595. So, this one is obviously a four-stroke, and it's the 450E. I would love to see one of these, and especially compare it with the 300. So you got the 300 and the 450. I would love to see the two-stroke and the four-stroke and see how they compare with each, each other. Let's go down to the weight. Because a lot of people love weight. That's their main thing. So weight. So jump into that four-stroke. It is a weight of 278 pounds. I'm going to guess that's wet weight. One we can hope, right? It doesn't specify. It, it only has 2.3 gallons, but you can get the 1.5 gallon auxiliary tank is available i don't know what that tank looks like don't know where it goes i don't know if it's the handlebar type extra tank let's take a look here look at it it's a uh, it's a beautiful looking bike you got the seat it drives this up here my understanding is there's like a lever sign you can turn it off so i mean it's still spinning but it's not engaged here and when you want it engaged you turn it on and then it drives a shaft in the frame here up and then down these tubes. And I think these are splined here. And that drives the front wheel. It sounds like a good system. And if it actually works on a lot of the loose stuff like we have in Colorado, it might be, might be a lot of fun. I would love to see one in person. Now, how do I close this window? I hate sites that do that. <laughs> okay, click back. Let's take a look. Oh, just a small picture. Well, I don't like that. I want to hide that. Here we go. Here's the engine. I do believe it's a Honda clone engine. So it's a Chinese engine. So your two-stroke, you're, you're going to get a better engine because they're sourcing that from gas gas. It does look nice. I don't know how far this sticks out. Is it? Does that bother pe people's legs? Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. Here's the other side. So we can look at. I mean, it looks like a nice bike. It really does look like a nice bike. Uh, do they have any close-up of the drive system? No, I don't see any. But uh, let's see. They also have a dual sport model. So you got the 450 Explorer. So click that. Here's the Explorer. $13,595. Wow. <laughs> it's really gone up in price. So if, you want, if you're into dual sporting, all wheel drive dual sport. Now this is playable. So I don't know why you couldn't get this. Let's see, what, what are they saying the weight is on this? So, this is saying the weight is 298 pounds. So, the weight's gone up. And this says 2.3 gallons with the one gallon auxiliary tank. You'll get, and it's 45 miles per gallon? 
or 45 more miles. For, it says miles per gallons. Okay, we'll go with that. So, you're not going too far, you know. You're going 90 miles plus another, you know, 45. So, yeah, you're not going to do a lot of exploring. So that's the other thing why I didn't really like these bikes. I don't know why they never had a custom tank made that kind of replaced the shroud here and kind of gave you that, for at least for the Explorer, you know, maybe this is four gallons or something, and then you add that if you wanted, you know, five gallons of fuel. I, don't, I wouldn't want to carry this fuel around all the time, so that, that would be annoying. And, yeah, you're getting mirrors light. I would like that stuff. I'd probably take that off. The rack's okay. I could use that on single try. That wouldn't affect me. That's a lot of money. $13,595. What else? They also have a, apparently a Super Modard, which I don't recall from before, so I don't know. That was something newer. But they have a Super Modard, and that's $13,595. So what do they claim the weight on that is? 288 pounds. So for whatever reason, made different tires? Well, it doesn't have the fuel, so 288 pounds. Let's see, what else is there? Got the E Start. Apparently, they do a military for the military. So, the E Start version, $12,995. And again, two, 255 pounds. I think the two stroke is where I would like to mainly try. But, like I'm saying, have you seen one in action? Do you know somebody with one? Let me know because I have never actually seen one in the wild. It would be cool to see these on my local trails. How does it perform? You know, I'm just saying, uh, they must not sell too many bikes because they don't do show. I don't think they do shows. I've never heard them come out to a show or anything. Here's the military version. Of course, they're not going to say how much, but custom order only with 50% deposit. I'd like to see one of these in person. Just to see what the military, even if you couldn't buy it. But you can apparently get, you know, a recluse clutch. And there's a bunch of parts here. Total add-on parts, $7,375. So you want all the parts. Billet, GPS protector, LED headlight, all this stuff. I'm wondering how much weight that brings it to. But, so let's say, what was it, like $14,000? Just about for... 450 add on another another 7000 <laughs> that's an expensive bike how much does it has the military bought any have, do you, are you in the military have you seen these i'm kind of curious but from my understanding is you can get the frame too and build your own bike so you can get the frame and it says Install on only Honda 250X, 450X, and some KTM 2008, 2011, two-stroke, and four-stroke. We are still working on KTM Adventure Kit in collaboration with Factory KTM to convert your adventure bike to all-wheel drive with a bolt-on kit. And I think they've been doing that forever. Forever. See? It kind of goes up. Chain goes up. There's a transfer case. And it drives this shaft, and it goes up, and then down into here. <laughs> so I, hmm. There you go, with frame exchange. It's a lot of money just for a frame. So it tells me if you break something, it's a lot of money. And they'll do custom kits too, apparently. So I guess if you're, hey, want your gold wing, maybe they'll do it. It's going to cost some money. But they also sell all wheel drive bicycles, if you didn't know. So fat tire bikes, their bikes are pretty pricey too, so I've heard. So go over to the uh, bicycle page, I guess. There, we're, is it going to load? There we go. Let's see. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I don't know anyone that ha has an all-wheel drive bicycle either. So what do you all think of the uh, motorcycles? Do you think this is something that would be cool? Would you rent one of these? I'm curious. Would you rent? If I had one of these to rent, would you rent it? Would you rent want to rent the 450? Would you want to rent the 300? Which one would you rent? I'm reaching out to my audience. See, because that would be cool. I'd get one and maybe I'd rent it out, you know, because no one has this bike. That this one, the 300, I'm more interested in actually the 300 for obvious reasons. And being an e-start, I definitely would want the e-start. And uh, yeah, I, I, this, I think this would be pretty cool. Are all these parts basically gas gas otherwise? Other than, I mean, the frame's not. But I don't know. I don't know. If you have one, is it easy to get parts? What's the maintenance schedule? What's the oil schedule? What's the scheduling for servicing this change? change changing out sprocket. Because obviously it's going to get where it's driving a chain. And it's just a chain sprocket. Is it easy to get a sprocket? Did they use a sprocket off a front of a popular bike that only cost you 15 bucks, Or do you have to go and buy a Christini sprocket? Do you have to buy Christini parts? How much if you had to replace the drive system up here? How much does that cost? Is that like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks? That would be quite a bit. I mean, a lot of extra wear. But then again, it's an interesting bike, and I might want to get one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you all think. Have a good one. Stay well. Stay safe, my friends.